Corey's back to school. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Whispering winds, I believe. Yeah. Whispering Jacket winds. check. Oh, he's inside, see? These are the smart kids. Wow. You know, I'm having a little trouble hearing you over the sound of the Eagles, you guys. I, I thought that I thought that they were the Whispering Wind Academy bull weevils, but it turns out <laughs> they're another winged creature. That would be the eagle. Oh my gosh, I love this. We're gathered in their multi-purpose room. They have been up since I don't know when, but I, I get the feeling, I get the feeling that they knew we were coming. And uh, we've got our principal, Johnny Brownlee, with us. Uh, Johnny, tell me about these kids. Who are they? There's not a huge group of them, but this is a pretty special school. What do you have going here? Uh, it's an amazing group of kids, and we are really a family here at Whispering Wind. And what's really important for us is we're a STEM school, but we also provide the opportunity to learn a language here at Whispering Wind. Here in Phoenix, Arizona, learning about Mandarin Chinese, and all of our students, every single one of them, get that opportunity each and every day. Yeah. Let's, let's, what's happening right here? You got to look about you, son. You feel you look like maybe you didn't have breakfast. I didn't. Yeah. If you had a breakfast, what would be your favorite? No, let me tell you. Um, uh, sugar pops. No, waffles. Omelet. Waffles. Oatmeal. Waffles. Uh, you had that look about you as well. All right. Get that smile going. Uh, and good morning, everybody. Thanks, you guys, for getting up early. Now, why Mandarin? We're hearing this a lot in schools these days. Is it uh, the language of the future? Well, what we're noticing is that we want to prepare our kids for a global future. And what people don't recognize is Arizona ranks pretty high out of the union for exporting. And we have a growing um, Mandarin-speaking community here, but where there's lots of jobs here in Arizona where we export directly to Mexico, Canada, and China. And there's so much opportunity that we couldn't uh, pass up on that opportunity. Gotcha. All right. Well, more coming your way from your friends right. at Whispering Wind Academy. You have the prettiest name of all of the schools in Arizona. Do you know that? There's no prettier name than Whispering Wind Aww. Academy. Yeah. And Look thanks for your beautiful tails. hearts. All right. Show all your teeth to everybody. Smiles. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. We'll see hey, you again kids. in a couple of Wave minutes. it out. Wave Aww. it out, kids. We'll see you in a bit. Those pigtails uh. are so Look at these kids. Smiling faces. Whispering Winds Elementary. I agree with Corey. That's a that's a nice name. Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Not a howling wind. No, it's a whispering. Yeah, just a whisper. Whispering. Just enough to kind of blow the hair off your forehead. All right, 8 30. Let's go ahead and get to some news for you. So Silent Witness is looking. Well, Corey's gone back to school to Whispering Winds. <laughs> the Eagles. I'll say it out loud. <laughs> hey, Corey. Yes. They were the eagles, not the weevils. I was so oh, wrong okay. on that. Close but though. yeah. Eagle weevil. But they, they, <laughs> they set us straight as soon as we got here. Uh, but the cool thing you might have heard about the Whispering Winds Academy is uh, their uh, immersion program. Mandarin is the language yes. that they're learning. And uh, this is Miss J. You are teaching them Mandarin. And uh, I understand they can do the Pledge of Allegiance yes. in Mandarin. We would love to hear that, all right? all right? I'll let you hold the microphone. Let's You get their attention, if you can, and we'll see how it goes. Hi, Jumpe Halama. Beautifully done. That is impressive. I barely know a language and a half. Thank you, you guys. Now, let's get a couple of things straight. What grade are you in, Miss? Fifth. Fifth grade. So you're about 10 years old? Yes. Very good. Uh, any idea what lunch is today? No. Really? Now, when I was in school, I felt like I knew every day what lunch was going to be. Do you know what lunch is today? No. No. D have you any idea? Um, you got an idea? A muffin top. I just Why don't you run over there and ask what lunch is and then report back to me here in a couple of minutes. What's breakfast so far? What's breakfast so far for you, young man? Um, a muffin top and Cocoa Puffs. Cheerios and something else. I can't remember what it was. You sound like a burglar. 
What, that was your meal? Let me see. What kind of muffin top is that? Hey, that's very good. You can eat around my part. My tests are all negative. Now I got muffin top in my teeth. Come on out here, Mr. Brownlee. As we go around and check out the rest of your kids for this last segment. Yes. Are you a charter school? Uh, how does it all work? Because uh, no. I know you're a very small school. Uh, yeah, we're about 550 students here in uh, North Phoenix. But we are a district uh, school, which is part of the Paradise Valley Unified School District. And give everyone your location, by the way. I'm sorry? Give everyone your location. We're on 43rd Street between Bell and Greenway Road. It's a lovely neighborhood. I'm sure you probably have a lot of parents who would like to get into your school. Uh, is that possible for them? Absolutely. We actually have uh, open enrollment that is still being considered for next year, and we are a school of choice because we have about half of our student body um, do not live in our boundaries and choose to come to us rather than their home school. Very good. Well, thanks so much for sharing all your kids with us. Thank you, Eagles, for getting up early for us. We really appreciate it. Give me that Eagle sound. Oh, yes. Listen to them screeching. I have a feeling the bell has rung. Oh. That's it for us from Whispering Winds Academy. See you soon, you guys. Great job, Cora. Good job, guys. Good group of